What's up guys? It's been a long time. I'm back here hopefully to help you guys understand this thing called p-value. We're looking at this thing. What is a p-value? I know it's a puzzle. What is this thing? I've been interpreting it, but I don't quite understand. You're going to keep interpreting this thing, so it's real important you have this thing down, okay? You're going to be, at the end of your report, you're going to write something like, with a p-value so low, I reject the null. There's strong evidence that people prefer Parmesan cheese in their meatballs, not Romano. <laughs> Whatever you do, you need to know what this thing is. So when you write a conclusion, you interpret the p-value, you know what you're saying, okay? So hopefully this quick example will help you understand. All right, so I've got a coin here. Here's my coin, okay? All right, and you're gonna say, all right, <laughs> we generally make a null and an alternative hypothesis. A ho and a ha, that's what I say. Make a ho and a ha. Ho, ha, make your whole, you know hypothesis is always the nothing weirds going on hypothesis. It's like the boring hypothesis, the no trickery, the Nystrom's not a magician hypothesis. So we're gonna talk about this coin. We're gonna say it's a fair coin. And my null hypothesis is that everything's hunky-dory, fair coin. Okay? The alternative hypothesis is that there's some trickery going on. There's something weird. There's something trickery. I don't even know if that's a real word. Yeah, maybe it is. So it, it, it opposes this. This is saying, oh, the coin's fair. This is saying there's some trickery going on. Nice just being silly. It's a trick coin, um, but you're not going to go with the trick coin until you have enough evidence. So that's kind of like this whole null alternative thing is you go with this. Oh, it's a fair coin. You just assume things are okay until you're like, whoa, what is that? And that p-value is the whoa, what is that? The p-value is like the peculiar, that was peculiar. So you think about, wow, that's really peculiar. Ooh, that's like a really low p-value and something's like really weird. You weren't expecting it to happen randomly. That's the low p-value. So we're gonna see what happens here. Here we go. I flip a coin. Mm -hmm. Tails, it's tails. So let's, here's our observation, and then I'll put a p-value here. And what happened, I, have, I observed one tail. Now here's the question. Do you think that this is a trick coin? Is it trick coin? Is there some trickery going on, or do you think it's a fair coin? You're probably like saying, uh, I don't have enough information. Well, you do. Here's your information. Every single time I flipped it, it landed on tails. But what you're gonna say is, oh, if the null were true, if that was a fair coin, if it were a fair coin, that happens half the time, man. That's, that, I'm not convinced it's a trick coin right now. I don't think there's any trickery going on, and that's good reasoning. But that's what that p-value is. It's the likelihood of this thing occurring if this null were true, if it were a fair coin. Okay, I flip it again. Whoop. Oh, look at that! Da -da -da. Tails again! I can't believe it! So, tails twice. Two tails! Now do you believe that it's a trick coin? Do you believe something trickery is going on? You'll say, no, man, that'll happen like one out of every, this happens about half the time. This happens about one out of every four times you flip a coin twice. So it's about a 0.25 p-value. Now notice, think about this. The p-value is the likelihood of what you saw happening if the null were true, if it were a fair coin. Because if this were a trick coin, meaning a two-tailed tails on both sides, how often would you see two tails in a row? All the time, okay? So the p-value is assuming that it's a fair coin. It's assuming the null is true. Let's see, we're gonna do it again. Gotta get good at catching tails again. Can you believe tails again? I can't believe this, three tails in a row. And in my class, when I'm doing this, I'll say, does anybody think this is a trick coin? And everyone will be like this. So then I'll flip it again. And this happens about 12 and a half percent of the time. Um, flip it again. Oh man, I'm horrible at this. Oh my goodness, but it happened to land right on tails again. Look at this, tails again. So we see four tails in a row, and that happens randomly about 6% of the time. And after the fourth tail, you'll see heads like, you know, churning. It's great when students are doing that. They're actually thinking, they're like, hmm, well, this is kind of weird. Good, you're saying that's peculiar. That's your p-value. Okay, notice what's happening to the P. It went from 0 0.50, 0 0.25, it's getting lower. Notice as the p-value gets low, it starts getting more peculiar. And this is when I say, do you think this is a trick coin? Do you think I'm up to something? And this is when students, you'll see a hand go up. 
I think you're up to something. And I'll say, huh, I like, I like your reasoning. And I'll do it again. Five tails. Five tails in a row. That happens about 3% of the time with a fair coin. That fifth tail, you start saying, coo, 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 coo. People start saying, I think that's weird. And then I do it again. The six tails, which only happens about 1% of the, 1.5% of the time, whatever. Uh, everyone's going, okay, that's weird. Now, now, the deal is, yes, it's a two-tailed coin. Okay? You buy a two-tailed coin at a magic shop, and it is trickery. There's definitely some trickery, okay? I never ever show it. I will not show the two-tailed coin. Because in hypothesis testing, you never really know. You just have to go with your gut. But the importance is just notice naturally what kind of happens. You start feeling, and everybody that starts, when you start seeing something right around this area, right around here, this is like the hands up, I think it's weird thing. And that happens when the p-value falls below 0.05. When the p-value gets below 0.05, that's when you start getting a little, a little sour feeling and you're like, ooh, that's weird, that's a little strange, I don't get it, ooh. That's natural. Think about a card trick. What, what p-value makes you go, whoa, it's like a wow factor. If I give you cards and I'm like, here, pick a card, and you, you pull up a card and you're like, Hmm. And I say, hmm, that's a red card. You're not going to be like, oh my gosh. Oh my God, he guessed my card. That's not a, you're not wowed with a red card. But if I'm like, oh, it's a heart. That's a little more of a wow factor, but you're probably not going to hire me as a magician at your cousin's birthday party, right? So what do you need to see in order for a card trick to be like, wow? I need to flip, flush, shuffle him around. <laughs> I need to shuffle them around and, and, and get, let you hand you one and say, dude, you've got the king of hearts. And that's when you're like, wow, he guessed the king of hearts. Now, the p-value of that, the likelihood of me just guessing that randomly, if I didn't, there was no trickery, is 1 in 52. That's like a 0 0.02. That's like a 2% chance. That's a low p-value. So look what happens. You, the thing starts getting low. When the p-value gets low, you start guessing whether or not it's a fair coin, right? Because that's what people say. I know a magic trick. The first thing you think is like, yeah, prove it. Show me, please. Because you want, to, you want the p-value to get low. So you can be like, oh, he's a magician, right? This is what's happening. Think of the logic behind the p-value. Just think about it. Notice what happened. If this were a fair coin, the likelihood of you seeing five tails in a row is so unlikely to happen randomly. It was so unlikely that you start saying, you start wanting to go with the alternative. When the p-value gets low, when it's unlikely to have happened randomly, if the null were true, you start saying, that was so unlikely to happen randomly, if the null were true, that I don't think it did happen randomly. I think the null's actually false. Basically, you're saying, if the null were true, this is, th th this is how likely it would happen randomly, which is wicked unrandom. I mean, it's unlikely. It's so unlikely to have happened randomly, you don't think it was random. Meaning, when you say that, you're saying, it was so unlikely to happen randomly. If this were true, I don't think this is true. I think you've got a trick coin, and I do. I think you know a magic trick, there's some trickery, and it is. That's how hypothesis testing goes. So when you see and you interpret your p-value, make sure what you're saying is, it's the likelihood of this event occurring just randomly, if the null were true. So when you say the p-value is low, I'm going to reject the null, you're saying I'm re it was so unlikely to have happened randomly, if this were true, that I don't believe it. You're starting to believe it's a trick coin. You're starting to raise your hand in class and be like, I think there's something fishy going on. Okay? And then that's when you start thinking, man, that's weird. And it happens all the time. All this stuff you do. How do you think they prove, like, in these big companies are causing cancer in the, in, in the water supply? It's because it's unlikely that half the population of a small town is just randomly going to get some sort of cancer because you look at how it happens randomly. You say, that if there's nothing fishy going on there, that's strange. It was like a one in a million chance of happening just randomly. That I don't think it was random. 
There's some serious pollution going on and someone's going to pay for it, okay? So you have to understand that the reason why we study randomness at all and the reason why when you do your hypothesis tests and you're having, you have that randomness in there, you have to make sure there's something done randomly. We study randomness so we know how randomness happens so we can say just this, that that was so unlikely to have happened randomly that I don't think it was random at all. There was something weird going on and I'm rejecting that null and I'm going with the, the alternative and so should you, yeah.